Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Soul Land 2 Peerless Tang Men based on novel. So let's start. On the other side of Qin Yeya, Chen Jun materialized a heavy shield in his hand. The top of the shield was rectangular, while the bottom was a triangular wedge. It reached almost 2 meters in height, a classic tower shield. He looked fearsome as he hoisted his shield. Chen Ju's martial soul was unknown, but it seemed to enhance his strength and soul power. His shield was embedded with four huge gems, which soul engineers could tell formed the formation arrays of his shield. Attack, defense, and enhancement. The combination of these three from the Clear Jade sect was rather strong. Furthermore, they defended the rest of their teammates as they appeared. The Tang sect was advancing less quickly. No one had unleashed any strong abilities. Shusansha walked in front, with the shield of the Xuanwu turtle before him. As he looked at Chen Jun's shield, he even said, Ayo, I've finally met someone similar. Both parties were less than 30 meters apart now. On the clear jade sect's side, Qin Yeye lifted her blade up high. However, the Tang sect's formation broke apart, just before she managed to slash her blade down. Three went to the left, while four moved to the right, creating a gap in their formation. Qin Yeye stopped her blade suddenly, and spat out blood in extreme discomfort. The gap her opponents had created was supposed to be where her blade landed. Just as she stopped, Wang Dong used Hu Yu Hao's wheelchair to propel herself into the air. In midair, the goddess of light's pair of butterfly wings opened up, and the light of the butterfly goddess shot straight towards the clear jade sect like a glowing meteor shower. Not only that, but a series of whizzing sounds also resonated out. Streaks and streaks of white light flew into the air under the cover of the light of the butterfly goddess, and engulfed their opponents. The origin of destruction, Hikaitu, finally attacked. Apart from Hikaitu, the rest of Shrek's seven monsters were most adept in mid or close combat battle. Even Hui Yu Hao wasn't an exception. Although he was also a sole engineer, he didn't specialize in long range attacks. Hikaitu had always been researching stationary sole tools, and he had learned how to accurately attack his targets from a distance. Although he couldn't use stationary sole tools in this tournament, he was still very good in terms of long range and wide area type attacks. While Tang Sect's movements to their left and right appeared very sudden, it was precisely these movements that immediately messed up the Clear Jade Sect's rhythm. When Hikaitu's wide area attack landed, Qin Yeye still hadn't slashed out with her blade yet. Furthermore, Hikaitu's soul tools and Wang Dong's light of the butterfly goddess were guided by Hu Yu Hao's spiritual detection. The level of precision was down to the millimeter. Hu Yu Hao was even monitoring the formation of their opponents. Hikaitu wasn't using a strong soul tool, only a class 4 stinger cannon. Such soul cannons weren't able to create explosions that covered huge areas but the penetrative power of the attacks from such soul cannons were very high. They could potentially even punch all the way through someone and hit the person behind them. The best way to deal with such soul cannons was to avoid them. As long as they were avoided, they were unlikely to cause much damage. Hikaitu fired 16 of these cannons. At least one of them was targeted at every clear jade sect disciple, and was even aimed at their heads. Their points of contact were precisely calculated using Hu Yu Hao's spiritual detection, and no mistakes would be made. The remaining ten cannons were aimed at one person, which wasn't the team leader, or Xue Bing. They were aimed at the weakest, but fastest, Yu Chen. Wang Dong's light of the butterfly goddess seemed to engulf a huge area, but it only had two main targets, Xue Bing and Kane. The light of the butterfly goddess surrounded both of them for only one reason, to affect them so that they couldn't help Yu Chen. As for the three in front, they couldn't pose any threat to the Tang sect, even though they were a good combination. Everything sounded like it took a long time to complete, but in fact, this was all done very quickly. A tremendous boom shook the arena. Wang Dong's light of the butterfly goddess was decently strong. She was a soul emperor, but her attack wasn't considered extremely strong, because she unleashed it over too large of an area. However, they still had to block her attack even if it wasn't at its best. In contrast, the penetrative abilities of Stinger Cannons were much stronger. Out of the six Clear Jade Sect disciples, Chen Jun, the one with the shield, was the first to make a move. These cannons accurately took into account his trajectory, as well as how he circulated his soul power. He felt as if he were running straight into them. He wasn't as powerful as Kane, and was even defeated by Wang Dorma badly in the first round. After some rest, he had restored around 50-60% to 60 of his power. 
However, he was taken aback by these eleven cannon shells. Out of pure reflex, he used a few soul skills and managed to deal with them. However, a terrifying feeling caused his entire body to shudder. As he lifted his head to look into the sky, Yu Chen was horrified to see a metal ball with a diameter of around half a meter in the air. This metal ball was facing him like a huge eye, an intense red glow undulating on its surface. As he lifted his head, a streak of red light had already shot straight down towards him. At the same time, four familiar golden rings appeared around him. The four beams of golden light also rose and instantly locked him in place, there was no chance of escape. A huge figure appeared in mid-air. A white barrier blocked Yu Chen's head, and a loud boom rang out a few times before it stopped. Yu Chen was very pale as he stood very still. Clear Jade Sect, Yu Chen, eliminated. The huge figure was undoubtedly Zheng Zhan. When the streak of red light crashed down, he already knew that Yu Chen was helpless. In addition, Yu Chen had already used his invincible barrier. Even if he hadn't used it yet, he might not even be able to block this attack even if he tried to use it. He was facing a strong class 7 soul tool called the Eye of Fear. The Eye of Fear was a strange long-distance control type soul tool. It could only take effect after being fired into the air. How high the Eye of Fear was fired was dependent on the level of the Eye of Fear. Such a soul tool could either be class 7, 8, or 9. However, the difference in strength between each class was quite large. Another major flaw of the Eye of Fear was that it was easily broken. It would break as long as it was accurately hit even once, and the strength required wasn't high. Furthermore, an Eye of Fear couldn't move once it rose into the air. It had gained a nickname after it was created. It was called the Terrifying Chicken Ribs. However, this Terrifying Chicken Ribs managed to kick Yu Chen out of the team round. Otherwise, he would have been blown apart by its terror ray. This attack along with Wang Dong's four hexagram arrays was enough to defeat Yu Chen. This was the teamwork of the Tang Sect team. After firing his eye of fear into the air, he Kai Tu revealed a grin. It was like it had nothing to do with him. He had a second, outer helmet on for the moment, and a control button in his hands. The button enabled him to position the eye of fear. As for aiming at Yu Chen, it was something that he didn't need to worry about. With Hui Yu Hao's spiritual detection helping him, the powers of the origin of destruction were bound to be enhanced to the limit by the eyes of the Azura. Boom. The huge anaconda fell from the air and knocked into one side of the wall. Xu Sancha lunged forward to block before sliding his body back by a meter. He managed to deflect Xuebing away in that moment and prevented him from disrupting their formation. Xiao Xiao also acted at this point. Her black three-live soul crush cauldron instantly grew in size until it reached three meters in diameter. It fell from the sky and crashed down onto the head of the anaconda true body. Wang Donga had just completed her four hexagram arrays and returned to Hui Yu Hao's side. Jiang Nan Nan didn't move and remained at Xu Sanchi's side. Nana shifted, moving behind Xu Sancha. The front three of the Clear Jade sect also adjusted their positions. Qin Yea raised her blade up high under Qing Qing's enhancement, and an intense blade light shot out, more than 30 feet in length. The armor on her body was also like a burning green sun. Her aura was soaring at an alarming speed. Accumulation. She chose to accumulate her power now. While she only had five rings, the might of her attack would be extremely terrifying afterwards if given time to power it up. But the Tang sect seemed to be unbothered by this. A streak of deep blue sword light appeared like a bolt of lightning and struck the anaconda true body. The anaconda let out a pathetic scream, and a deep wound surfaced on it. Light shot out in all directions because of this. As Shwebing activated his martial soul true body, it naturally didn't possess any blood. However, it was surging with soul power undulations. The sword light that struck it carried the strength of ultimate ice. Shwebing was being suppressed. The cute snow lady drifted up into the air. As she saw the anaconda true body, she seemed very scornful. The snow empress three ultimate techniques unparalleled chill, empress sword. The Tang sect was undoubtedly even more terrifying when they fought as a team. With Hui Yu Hao's spiritual detection, they easily suppressed their opponents. Jing Zhong sighed as he watched everything. The Tang sect is too strong. It seems like the Sun Moon team was right to give up in the team round. Five against seven. They wouldn't have been able to beat the Tang sect, considering how strong and coordinated they are. At this point, the Clear Jade sect was at a complete disadvantage. 
They hadn't given their all yet, but they were already down one member. The rest of them were also being suppressed. Their earlier formation, which was quite strong, was of little value at this point. This left them like headless chickens. Kane finally acted. When her team members were all in disastrous situations, she burst out like a shadow. She was extremely quick, far quicker than Yu Chen. As they saw her figure flash, she was already in the air above the Tang Sek team. As she lifted her hands, ten streaks of dark golden light shot towards the Snow Lady. Not only that, but she also let out a high-pitched shriek. Everyone in the Tang Sect jerked as one, and were slightly delayed as they tried to unleash their abilities. Quick! Even Hui Yu Hao hadn't expected Kane to be so ferocious. However, the Snow Lady wasn't afraid. She wasn't under Hui Yu Hao's control. She possessed her own intelligence, and the fighting capabilities of the Snow Empress. Against the dark golden rays, her body swayed a little, and she flitted aside like a streak of deep blue light before brushing past them. At the same time, she moved to place her small palm on Kane's chest. The Snow Empress three ultimate techniques Empress Palm, Snowless Glacier. She immediately used her killer move. The raw might have been effective on the Tang sect members. However, how could it have any effect on the Snow Lady? Kane didn't continue fighting the Snow Lady. As her attack had no effect, she quickly shifted positions, too fast to be caught. This time, she appeared above Hui Yu Hao and Wang Donga. She clawed down at their heads. Kane's fighting style was to immediately shift her position after she attacked. Otherwise, she would be in trouble once she was cornered by the Tang sect. She didn't hesitate at all, her figure flashing away as she returned to the air. This time, she opened up a pair of dark golden wings behind her back, driving herself up towards the Eye of Fear above her. At this point, the Eye of Fear had only charged for three seconds. She had chosen the perfect time. If she didn't destroy it immediately, it could pose a threat to her entire team. None of them knew who its next target would be. However, the weird thing was that no one from the Tang sect stopped her. No one even tried. After Shu Sansha blocked Kane's attack, he moved back in front of the entire team again. His shield was still in front of him, and he watched Qin Yeya, who was almost done with her power accumulation. At this point, she was already targeting him. Shu Sansha had to be overcome first, no matter whether it was because he was a six-ringed soul emperor, or because he was a defense-type soul master. In their previous clashes, neither Xuebing nor Kane managed to make any headway because of him. A weird smile appeared on Shu Sanchi's face. Jiang Nan Nan shook her head gently when she saw that smile, and also started to act. She moved with a flash, and leapt forward diagonally. Her target was the anaconda true body of Xuebing. Hui Yu Hao's eyes shone with divine light. The Snow Lady returned to his side again, but she stopped behind Shu Sanchi's back. She raised her small and delicate hands. Wang Donga could tell that rings and rings of icy blue light were forming in the center of the Snow Lady's right hand at a rapid rate. Was she accumulating the power of her Snowless Glacier? What was she doing? The Snowless Glacier would only have sufficient effect if it struck the opponent directly. However, Wang Donga was only a little doubtful. She was also drifting in the air under the guidance of Hui Yu Hao's spiritual detection. Streaks and streaks of hexagram arrays rose into the air as both parties fought each other. Their target was the Anaconda True Body. Xuebing was unfortunate. He had already been struck once by the unparalleled chill as he was careless. Right now, he could only try to maintain his Anaconda True Body. The intense pain and the ultimate ice were greatly diminishing his fighting strength. While a martial soul true body was strong, his was not a true martial soul true body. As his abilities were diminishing, he also didn't dare to face Wang Dorma's hexagram arrays directly. He was also afraid to rush forward. Xiao Xiao's three-lift soul crush cauldron coordinated with Wang Dorma's hexagram arrays to suppress him, preventing him from advancing any further. At this point, Kane was already in front of the eye of fear. She reached out with her claws, about to destroy it. However, a weird feeling engulfed her body suddenly. Kane only felt the space surrounding her distorting furiously. Her claws found nothing. Following that, she realized a familiar yet frightening streak of green light was crashing down from the sky. Her head was its target. At this point, Qin Yeya completed her accumulation and slashed down with her blade. Her target was now Kane, who was momentarily lost after she switched positions with Shusansha. The cool hand contained the snowless glacier. Kane knew she was in deep trouble. Everything had happened too quickly. 
The mysterious underworld displacement had the same effect as instant teleportation. Jing Zhong thought he was seeing things as everything changed. There was no time to react. Everyone from the Tang sect knew that they had won. As this strike was unleashed, Hui Yu Hao also completed another attack. Purplish gold light flashed in his eyes before Xue Bing screamed pathetically from afar. He was already weakened, but his martial soul true body was immediately dispelled under the attack of Hui Yu Hao's spiritual shock. The three live soul crush cauldron immediately divided into three separate cauldrons before the cauldron quake was unleashed on him. Xue Bing was locked in place. At this point, Jiang Nan Nan was already in front of him, and she kicked him in the chest. He was immediately overcome when Jiang Nan Nan got close to him. Even Hui Yu Hao believed that they had won this round. Furthermore, Kane was surely going to be killed under the combined attack of Qin Yeye and the Snow Lady. The Snowless Glacier could kill a Soul Sage, given enough time to accumulate. Kane was only a six ringed Soul Emperor. The combination of the mysterious underworld displacement and the Snow Lady was too strong. However, something changed at this moment. Kane's body cracked as she was struck by the Snow Lady's palm, before being hit by the blade lights. She instantly split into three parts, which flew off in three different directions. These three figures turned into three dark golden bats in the air. One of the bats turned a deep blue after flying less than three meters. After that, it broke apart. The other two bats quickly flew in two different directions. One of them headed for Hu Yuhao, while the other flew towards Xue Bing, who was being restrained by Jiang Nan Nan. Although Hu Yuhao was in a momentary trance, his reaction was still very quick. A huge, half-transparent light shield blocked his body. The blood-red eyes of the bat seemed to be filled with disdain. Didn't Wang Dong tell Hu Yuhao that the blood shadow human puppet was able to ignore any form of defense? However, the body of the bat turned rigid in the next instant. The bloody red projection collided with the shield. It didn't manage to penetrate through, and even staggered after it struck the shield. Milky white glows surfaced on the shield, and seemed to form a smiley face. Following this, an exact copy of the blood-colored bat projection was deflected away directly towards the dark golden bat. The dark golden bat screamed in pain, before creating a dim golden light projection behind it. This projection changed into spots of golden light that surged towards the shield. To both parties, their opponent was using very weird abilities. Neither of them expected the other party to possess such abilities. Kane escaped death, but she didn't feel very well after being attacked repeatedly. Wang Donga and the Snow Lady were still beside Hu Yu Hao. The Dark Golden Bat was stalled for a while after it was hurt by the shield. This momentary delay offered time for Wang Donga's Butterfly Goddess Slash to cut towards the bat. A huge ball of light instantly changed into 108 blades that surrounded the bat. Another strange scene appeared again. The Dark Golden Bat blew apart again, and changed into countless smaller bats that absconded in different directions, managing to escape from the very concentrated attack of the butterfly goddess Slash. However, not all of them managed to escape, as a few of the smaller bats were still killed. On the other side, the other dark golden bat was in a much better situation. The blood shadow human puppet changed its target to Jiang Nan Nan, and she had no choice but to escape. Xiao Xiao directly used one of her cauldrons to cover Jiang Nan Nan, which blocked off the puppet's attack. However, in doing so Kane also managed to alleviate Xue Bing's crisis. All these changes happened extremely quickly. Qin Yeye only managed to retract her blade after Xue Bing had already been saved. However, a streak of red light that exuded a terrifying aura descended from the sky at this moment. This time, its target was Qin Yeye. No matter how capable Kane was, she couldn't save Qin Yeye after she was repeatedly attacked and forced to save Xue Bing. Let me deal with these two. With his abilities as a soul emperor, it would be very embarrassing if he couldn't deal with two soul kings. He was once regarded, along with Bei Bei, as one of the new generation Gemini of Shrek Academy. Hui Yu Hao didn't rush to attack. He exploited Hikai Tu's wide area attack, and all of them gathered together into their formation once again. Wang Donga replaced Chu Sancha, while Xiao Xiao and Jiang Nan Nan were at her sides. Hikai Tu and Hui Yu Hao were now behind her. Lastly, Nana was behind Hui Yu Hao now as she pushed his wheelchair in place of Wang Donga. From the start until now, Nunna hadn't made a single move. In fact, Nunna was a little unfamiliar in terms of her abilities and coordination with Shrek's seven monsters. Hui Yu Hao's mission for her was to cover for everyone. If their opponents crept around the backside, her job was to slow them down. What martial soul is that? Nunna asked. Hui Yu Hao shook his head. He was also unsure what Kane's martial soul was. However, the result of this team round had already been decided. The only thing was that they hadn't fully accomplished their goal yet. The Clear Jade Sect team was definitely stronger than they had expected. Dorma. 
Hui Yu Hao called out gently. Yes, Wang Dong nodded gently in reply. Their minds connected, and she understood what he wanted even as he spoke. An intense beam of golden light rose from Wang Dong's body. Her upper body bent back, her waist supported her as she formed a bow shape with her body. She grabbed onto Hui Yu Hao's shoulders with her hands and did a handstand on his body. The rest of the Tang sect quickly separated to the side. The air seemed to freeze at this point. Countless streaks of blinding light started to spew out from Hu Yuhao and Wang Donga. Time seemed to stop at this moment too. The radiant butterfly goddess Golden Blue Wings expanded rapidly. Almost instantly, their size doubled. Originally, she only had front and rear wings, but right now, there was an additional pair of jade green wings in the middle. They were smooth, shiny, and dazzling. A strong aura of life came from this additional pair of wings, as if they were saying that the true meaning of life was light and water. Their aura of life complemented her aura of light. As the frost spread, everything around her seemed to turn into a world of ice and snow. As the chilly aura spread, Hui Yu Hao and Wang Dong's fused body also started to shockingly transform. Hui Yu Hao disappeared, and a slender figure quietly appeared amid the tricolored glow. It was a lady, a lady that seemed to have already matured, more than 180 centimeters tall. Her slender figure was extremely captivating. She had long, powder blue hair that flowed all the way to her feet. Her eyes were a bright gold, and her figure was beyond perfect. Her ravishing looks made all the ladies present pale in comparison. Every streak of light, and every curve on her body complemented the other. No one could describe how they felt when they first saw her. However, everyone's attention was captured by her the instant she appeared. Solitary dance amidst the frost, raiment of light. Just like in the last round of the tournament in the Star Luo Empire, everyone was astonished when the goddess of light appeared. Everyone's gaze was focused on her. They couldn't believe that a person could be so beautiful. As the dazzling, tricolored wings opened up, the goddess of light took a step forward and seemed to shrink space about her. She advanced several dozen meters and appeared in front of the opponents that had survived the explosion. The two remaining dark golden bats gathered together. A light flashed, and they formed a larger bat. However, this bat had two heads. In fact, it was more accurate to say that it had three heads. It was just that one was only left with the stump of a neck, there wasn't any head left. Evidently, it must have had been struck off by the snowless glacier. Everyone from the Tang sect finally realized what Kane's martial soul was. It was an extremely rare but top-ranked martial soul, the dark golden three-headed bat king. It wasn't only strong, it was a terrifying martial soul that only appeared after a mutation occurred. In the world of soul masters, it was a powerful martial soul that had previously only existed in legends. Right now, Kane was definitely in her martial soul true body. Her trump card was similar to Shwebing. They both used soul tools to forcefully enhance themselves to reach their martial soul true body state. However, they were both spent right now, and it was very difficult for them to maintain their martial soul true bodies anymore. After all, their martial soul true bodies had been forced to manifest. Compared to real martial soul true bodies, they could at most unleash 60% of their maximum abilities in such a state. However, 60% of Kane's maximum abilities was enough to save her life. Otherwise, the combination of the Snowless Glacier and Executioner's Blade would have killed her. As the Goddess of Light opened her wings, an extremely chilly aura was released. Wang Donga and Hui Yu Hao didn't just possess two and three rings like they had the last time, they unleashed the solitary dance amidst the frost in a tournament. They were very strong now. Without any warning, a snowstorm was unleashed, with the Goddess of Light at the center of it. Three people were immediately engulfed by this snowstorm, and those on the outside couldn't see what was happening. Yes, it was the snowy dance of ultimate ice. The goddess of light was Hui Yu Hao and Wang Dong's last martial soul fusion skill, because it wasn't an attack that could only be used one time. They could attack continuously and unleash their complete fighting strength. They weren't able to maintain such strength or use so much power in the past. However, the goddess of light was able to unleash all of their abilities now. It wasn't their martial soul true body, it was stronger than a martial soul true body. The referee, Jing Zhong, cursed and immediately rushed in the direction of the snowy dance of ultimate ice. As he couldn't see what was going on, he couldn't tell what they were up to. It was a dazzling martial soul fusion skill. He didn't expect them to have such a trick up their sleeves. Inside the snowy dance of ultimate ice, Kane and Schwebing felt as if they had entered an extremely chilly world. They even felt their blood solidifying in the cold. As their blood flow slowed, they felt the circulation of their soul power also dropping significantly. Even though they were in harsh conditions, Shwebing's eyes widened in shock when he saw the goddess of light. He couldn't believe that there was someone so perfect in this world. The dark golden three-headed bat king's wings opened wide, 
and Cain burst towards the goddess of light like a bolt of lightning. She knew that their surroundings would return to normal as long as she could defeat the goddess of light. It was a pity that she was engulfed by a beam of golden and blue light less than five meters after she moved. It was a hexagram array that now also carried the ultimate ice. Within this snowy dance of ultimate ice, the aura that it released was entirely concealed. The dark golden three-headed bat king struggled indignantly. Schwebing also tried to stand up and resist further. However, they were in very weak states right now. Outside the snowy dance of ultimate ice, three huge cauldrons blocked the unbreakable Doluor Jingzhong as he rushed out. One of the cauldrons was stacked on top of the other two cauldrons. Referee, you can't interfere since victory hasn't been decided yet, Xiao Xiao spoke out. Right now, they had already gathered on the other side to aid Xu Sancha in his formation. Get lost. Jing Zhan shouted in fury. He clapped his hands, and a wave of dominant soul power swept the cauldrons to one side. However, the terrifying red in the sky appeared once again, as he tried to burst towards the snowy dance of ultimate ice. Jing Zhan turned pale, and he was about to curse. Even though he was a titled Doluor, he couldn't separate his body like the dark golden three-headed bat king. On the one hand, he couldn't tell what the situation was like inside the snowstorm. On the other, he was afraid of someone else dying if they were struck by the terrifying ray. He was left with no choice. His figure flashed, and he blocked the attack on Ching Ching, also announcing that she had been eliminated. Chen Jun was kicked out a few seconds after Ching Ching. Even though his shield had many special skills, he didn't stand a chance with his inferior cultivation. Xu Sanxi's turtle god's strike helped him destroy his opponent's shield directly. If not for Jing Zhan's intervention, Chen Jun's body would also have been crushed. As this slight delay happened, the snowy dance of ultimate ice on the other side also spread out and began to vanish. The goddess of light danced. Her wings opened and turned into a streak of flowing light that moved straight towards the golden tree wheelchair. At this point, there were two ice sculptures left within the area covered by the snowy dance of ultimate ice. Kane had already regained her original look. She was actually an attractive young lady with a weirdly pale complexion. Schwebing was in a more tragic state. There was huge wounds on his chest and belly. However, these injuries couldn't be seen clearly as he was frozen. Referee, weave one. The goddess of light turned back into two people as a final light flashed. Hui Yuhao was quietly sitting in his wheelchair, while Wang Dong'e was standing in front of him. The two of them looked at each other and smiled. Jing Zhan quickly rushed in front of the two ice sculptures. After a few attempts, he realized he couldn't melt them free. The two ice sculptures were very hard, and their temperatures were extremely low. He didn't dare to forcefully break the ice. If he did so, the two of them would die very quickly. Quickly, defrost them. Jing Zhan quickly came over in front of Hui Yuhao and Wang Dong'e. Hui Yuhao appeared very weak, I'm sorry. Referee, my soul power isn't sufficient, so I can't melt them. Don't worry, their lives won't be in danger, as the temperature of ultimate ice is very low. When my soul power recovers, I can help to melt them. Their pulse just has to be restarted before they can regain their life power. In this state, they won't die even after a year. Life, Jing Zhan was helpless as he looked at Hui Yuhao. Hui Yuhao smiled as he said, isn't it great that we've removed one more strong opponent for the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy? Wang Dong'e added, you should announce that we've won. Jing Zhan took in a deep breath. He knew that there were some things that a referee like him couldn't do. If they didn't want to melt the two of them, what could he do? It was the ultimate ice. No one on the continent would dare to melt these ice sculptures. The Tang Sect wins the team round and this match. Tang Sect 9 points. Clear Jade Sect 7 points. Victory. The Tang Sect progressed to the next round. In a few days. Why does your soul power take so long to recover? Qin Yeye was furious as she glared at Hui Yuhao. Hui Yuhao sighed and said, I'm sorry. Can't you see that I'm crippled? It's already not easy for me to compete. Furthermore, I'm the only one who can defrost them. Please be nicer to me. Otherwise, I'll leave them frozen forever. Chen Jun said, How long will it take before you are willing to defrost them? If you take too long, their lives will be in danger. Hui Yu Hao said, Three days. I'll take at most three days before I defrost them. You must give me some time to rest. Three days. Won't they miss the next round if it takes three days? Everyone from the Clear Jade sect looked extremely furious and resentful. However, they were helpless. Jing Ziyan and Ji Juechen had already arrived at this point. Ji Juechen lifted his judgment sword and coolly said, There's still another way. If any one of you can beat me in a duel, he can also help to defrost your captain and vice-captain. 
After everyone from the Clear Jade sect heard his words, their eyes brightened. Chen Jun asked, Are you going to stay true to your promise? He was staring at Hui Yu Hao instead of Ji Juechen. Hui Yu Hao's expression turned weird, and he nodded his head. He said, Yes. He's with us. If you can defeat him, I'll defrost your captain and vice captain. Let's go. Let's find a place. Everyone from Clear Jade sect shouted quickly. After this fight, the Tang sect was recognized as a dark horse in this tournament. They managed to emerge victorious in two fights, even though their opponents were strong. In addition, no one from their side was injured. This series of results made them one of the favorites to win their group. There were a lot of people who were guessing how the Tang sect would fare against Shrek Academy. However, it was still too early to say. That was because the Tang sect and Shrek Academy were only facing off in the last match of their group. Shrek Academy's schedule was very kind to them. They were going to face Team Sun Moon in their penultimate match. Before that, they didn't really have any strong opponents. The Clear Jade sect might have potentially hurt their chances, but their encounter with the Tang sect greatly hampered their abilities. Everyone from the Tang sect returned to the hotel to rest, not staying to watch the rest of the matches. Once they reached the hotel, they received a notification that they were being moved to the second story of the hotel, into an extremely luxurious suite. This was undoubtedly the result of their performances in the tournament. Eldest senior, this was what happened. Hui Yu Hao recounted the details of their fight to Bei Bei. Bei Bei nodded and said, Good job. Yu Hao, you are even better than me in terms of commanding the team. Continue to work hard. Hui Yu Hao sighed in his heart, as he saw that Bei Bei's face was still as pale as ever. Eldest senior, your condition doesn't seem to be improving. The opponents we'll be meeting in the later stages of the tournament are only going to get stronger and stronger. I'm under a lot of pressure. Bei Bei chortled and said, Since when were you scared of pressure? Don't think too much and strive forward. From what you said, our main opponents are Shrek, the Sun Moon Soul Engineering Academy, the Holy Ghost Sect, and the Unknown Body Sect. Apart from these few teams, there are the other traditional powerhouses as well. None of them will be easy to deal with. This tournament might be the most intense competition for the past few thousand years. You just need to remember to be steady as you take each step. Hui Yu Hao nodded and said, I'll do my best. Our advantage is still quite great. However, it's difficult to judge our opponent's abilities. As the tournament continues, our opponents will also slowly learn about our trump cards. Their analysis and research of us will be more thorough, and it'll become increasingly difficult to advance further. Bei Bei smiled as he saw the mature look on Hu Yu Hao's face, Yu Hao, don't put too much pressure on yourself. We are representing the Tang sect this time. This means that we are representing ourselves too. We don't have to be bothered about our final ranking. I believe our name has spread far and wide from our last two performances. It won't be difficult to advance from the round-robin stage. We've actually already met our intended goals. In fact, Sansha and the others drew a good lot this time. If Shrek can advance to the quarterfinals, we'll meet them in the finals. We won't have to worry about meeting them earlier. How are things on their side? All right. Hui Yu Hao nodded, eldest senior, rest well too. We're looking forward to your leadership. The round-robin stage isn't too tough. You don't have to worry. However, I'm confident we can become champions if you can recover to lead us again. As he saw Hu Yu Hao's grin, Bei Bei patted Hu Yu Hao on his shoulder, I'll try my best. Okay. Dornga, let's go. Bei Bei sat up after Wang Dornga left with Hu Yu Hao. His eyes brightened, and he didn't seem as fatigued as before. He sighed and said, Yu Hao, I'm sorry for putting you under so much pressure. However, I have no choice. Good luck. With you around, the Tang sect will only become stronger and stronger no matter what happens to me. The Star Luo National Academy Resting Lounge. Princess Jojo was quietly sitting in the main seat, the other team members of the academy in the room with her. They had just won in the afternoon and achieved two consecutive victories in their last two fights. I didn't expect the Tang sect to still be so strong, even though Hu Yu Hao is in a wheelchair and Bei Bei hasn't appeared. They were still able to defeat their opponents easily even though their opponents consisted of two soul emperors and five soul kings. They aren't easy to deal with. One young man, who was seated just beside Princess Jojo smiled and said, Your Highness, they are the champions from the last tournament. It wouldn't be right if they didn't perform well. However, don't worry. Even if we meet them in the quarterfinals, we might not lose to them. If the Tang sect reached the quarterfinals, it was very likely they would meet the runners-up of Star Luo National Academy. Apart from the Star Luo National Academy, the Holy Ghost sect was also in their group. As a result, the Star Luo National Academy was fighting to finish as runners-up. You are so confident. 
Princess Jojo looked across at him. The young man smiled and said, in fact, every team should be able to tell that the Tang sect is strong, but their weakness is that they don't have a preparatory squad. This tournament is very intense. Who can guarantee that none of them will get injured? In my opinion, I don't think it'll be smooth sailing for them all the way. Princess Jojo was a little cold as she said, what about us? Do you think we can make it out of the quarterfinals? The young man's expression turned rigid. Your Highness, forgive me for being direct. Our opponents in this tournament are very strong. If we can make it out of the round-robin stage, it's because our group is easy. Princess Jojo glared at him. He remained very calm and wasn't suppressed by her aura. At this point, someone knocked on the door. Come in. Shu Jojo shifted her attention. The door opened, and a fearless-looking middle-aged man walked quickly to Shu Jojo. He whispered something in her ear. What? Do they really dare to? Shu Jojo's eyes were filled with astonishment. Continue to investigate. I want accurate information. Wang Dong nodded and said, Yu Hao, how inferior do you think they are in comparison to the Sun Moon Empire in terms of technology? Hui Yu Hao shook his head and said, It's hard to tell. After all, I've no access to the top secrets of the three empires. Judging from the architectural styles and soul tool developments of the various empires, I believe the three empires are a hundred years behind the Sun Moon Empire. This is even including the fact that the three empires have been catching up over the past three years. There's actually something that the Sun Moon Empire didn't do so well in. What thing? He Kai Tu was curious. Hui Yu Hao chortled and replied, they can't keep their secrets well. Even the Sun Moon Empire might not have noticed it, but their technologies have been leaked quite frequently. The three empires in the three continents only needed a few decades before they managed to steal the technologies of the Sun Moon Empire, empowering their own technological development. Even though they are still inferior, which makes things a little less obvious, they might creep even closer to the Sun Moon Empire if given a few more years. Hikai too appeared thoughtful as he nodded agreement and said, you're right. At least some of the soul tools produced by the Sun Moon Empire have appeared in auctions in other parts of the continent. They are stricter in their control of rare metals, though. Hui Yu Hao twisted his lips and said, they are neglecting the fundamentals and concentrating on the details. While rare metals are rare, what if someone finds substitutes for them? Furthermore, physical force can be used to obtain rare metals. True soul tool technology is very difficult to create. If not for the fact that the Sun Moon Empire's restrictions on Class 7 and above soul tools were slightly stricter, I'm sure their gap with the other empires might be even closer. He Kai Tu furrowed his brow and said, aren't we doing the same thing too? You are the most invested in it. Hui Yu Hao twisted his head to look at Hikai Tu and asked, Second Senior, I've always wanted to ask you a question. Do you still regard yourself as part of the Sun Moon Empire? Hikai Tu was stunned and turned to look at Hui Yu Hao. As their gazes met, Hui Yu Hao saw the emotions lurking deep in Hikai Tu's eyes. After remaining silent for a moment, Hikai Tu said, Little Junior, I don't want to lie to you. That's why I'm not going to answer your question. You just need to remember that I'll always be a part of the Tang sect and Shrek Academy. That should be enough. Okay. Hui Yu Hao stopped probing and nodded acceptance. Wang Donga was stunned by their conversation. She had always believed that Hikai Tu was a simple, honest, and even slightly awkward person. All these were especially obvious when he was with Xiao Xiao. He was always so embarrassed, which gave off a very lovable feeling. However, she could tell from this conversation that he wasn't that simple of a person. Hui Yu Hao also seemed to know something that she did not. She squeezed Hui Yu Hao's shoulder gently. She had already thought about it. She was going to ask Hui Yu Hao what was going on when they returned from the underground tournament. Hui Yu Hao looked ahead, his gaze peaceful. He enjoyed the refreshing air. Even though it was slightly polluted, his mind was clearer in this air. The Sun Moon team and Shrek's team were archenemies. It was a fight where both parties had to give it their all. No one knew what the result was going to be. While Wang Chua was indeed very strong, she was alone. Could she really lead Shrek to victory against the Sun Moon Soul Engineering Academy and enter the quarterfinals with the Tang sect? Even though Hui Yu Hao's conscience was clear, and the Tang sect had done everything they could to help Shrek advance, he was still very worried. He also knew that he wasn't the only one worried. All his teammates were also worried. In their hearts, Shrek's glory was as important as the Tang sect's glory. Part 1 End Here